Clarinet fans, uh, Kathy Williams of the Reese here, uh, bringing you an introduction to some basic jazz rhythms. Um, one of my more popular videos, if you want to check it out, is, clar is jazz clarinet techniques, which includes glissandi, slides, slurps, um, and vibrato. Uh, so there's a few different kinds of jazz rhythms that I'm going to look at. Um, the first and probably most simple one, which actually people tend to do without realising it, is called um, jazzing up or swinging quavers. Uh, because normally a quaver is exactly half a crotchet. So you go... And you have your quavers. So... To swing the quavers, um, what I mean is to is to uh, basically uh, play each um, quaver duplet as a crotchet quaver triplet, and actually you do this without realising this. Um, if you think of Happy Birthday, now the way Happy Birthday is written. <laughs> Nobody ever sings it like that. What they do is they swing it. So um, you you swing the quavers without um, realizing it. So what I'm going to do is uh, there's a, a few books I've got here. Uh, this one is the James Ray 40 Modern Studies the Solo Clarinet, and I've also got his 38 More Modern um, Songs for Clarinet, both which have some really, really good jazzy stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some pieces that uh, are just... <laughs> Um, quavers and I'm going to swing them. So first I'm going to play, the first one is slow motion. Um, it's on page four of the Ray um, 40 Modern Studies. But this is how it's written. jazzy at the moment. So let's add a little bit of swing to the quavers. <laughs> little jazz tune there. Um, let's go to Passing Time which is number nine and um, uh, and we'll also do Tumble Down Blues. I really like Tumble Down Blues uh, before I'll um, introduce um, the second of the jazz rhythm. So this is um, this is Passing Time. So this is what it'd sound like. I'll just play the first few bars if I wasn't um, swinging the quavers. <laughs>
one is tumble down blues so this is the first few bars of what it would sound like if we weren't swinging the clovers <laughs> slides here and there. So the, that's the first aspect of jazz rhythms is swinging the quavers. Um, and another aspect of jazz rhythms which I've already been doing and, um, and you'll probably hear most singers in your favourite pop songs do this uh, is called syncopation. It's where the note sounds like it is a strong beat but it's on an off beat. So if you think of 4-4, four, 1-2-3-4, four, four, and the, the, um, the strong beats are 1 and 3, although all 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, now, uh, to make something that sounds like a major beat on an off beat um, is called syncopation. And so instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, you go 1, one 2, Two, three, four. Or yup, um, uh. So these are some really um, uh, sort of rudimentary rhythms. Um, there's an interesting little piece called Jumpin', which is the fourth of the 40 modern studies. And the phrase, the little music riffs are written so that it sounds like the last notes of each riff is actually um, on the next beat, but it's actually on the previous beat. Um, it can throw you a little bit. What I'll do actually is I'll pop on the metronome. I'll pop on the metronome so that you can see what I mean. So that's one, two, three, four. note is actually just before the third beat. Three, four. Three, four. And here is a, a bit of syncopation in the third bar and what happens is that you hit the major note D but you don't hit it on the first bit of the bar. You hit it on the eighth quaver of the previous bar. So we keep the metronome on. And we're swinging the quavers as well. This would be without swinging quavers. Now we're swinging the quavers a little bit.
parts of the phrase are actually on offbeat. Uh, similarly, in um, backtrack, um, the quaver, the strongest quaver is actually taking place on the second quaver beat of the bar, uh, although it kind of sounds like it's starting on the second beat. But um, actually, oh, I'll pop the metronome off a little bit. This is fun. This is called backtrack. <laughs> directly on one it comes on the eighth quaver previously um, and another um, aspect of syncopation is where the the bar starts with a rest with the note coming on the second quaver beat but of course it's the strongest part of the bar it's on it's on the off beat so instead of having the strongest beat on the eighth quaver it's now on the second quaver so this is called uh, the big one and again the um the rhythms are jazzed up. And that's one of the um, principal jazz rhythms. So there's a few, you know, sort of different jazz rhythms out there. Also, sort of, um, sort of, see, got the signs like that, um, that sort of indicates that that's a really sort of short spiccato kind of note, which is different from an ordinary um, uh, accent. So um, let's. I'll just pop the metronome up a little bit further. <laughs> because I, I think these uh, these tunes are, are so much fun. Actually, I will do moving because it uh, displays both the um, 
the, the syncopation happening on the last quaver and also the syncopation happening on the uh, second quaver of the bar. So this goes about 200, this is actually quite fast. So. and uh, jazzing up of the uh, quavers. Um, jazz sometimes delves into different time signatures. Um, most famous uh, jazz piece in 5-4 time is of course Take 5. Um, and I suppose I first came really into contact with 5-4 uh, when I played Hulse the Planets. Uh, now there's different ways that you can fray, you can sort of subdivide 5-4. It's either 3 and 2 or 2 and 3. And I've got a brilliant little piece here. I really like it. Uh, called On the Brink and I think most of the time you, you uh, sort of subdivide the bar into three and two so you've got the, you've got the syncopation so I think one two three one two one two three one two so <laughs> so I haven't played it in a while. sort of uh, starts to sound a little bit like take five. modes that are used. Um, let me try this um, five one again.
that's a sort of really cool little rhythm. I really, I really like that. There's some really good stuff um, in here. Um, and actually, there's also um, seven eight. You can actually have um, quite jazzy pieces in seven eight. <laughs> funny piece um, sort of this is sort of a Latin kind of jazz <laughs> changes from 7-8 to 4-4 to 5-8 which um, which is is a huge amount of fun and then you got something like entanglement you sort of one two three one two one two I mean with 7-8 you can go three and four four and three um, you know, there's heaps of um, there's heaps of uh, different rhythms there. But I think I've given you sort of a, an overview, um, um, and uh, I won't sort of go into um, bebop, but um, sort of bebop's very frenetic, and you don't actually swing the quavers. That's another. I don't think that's actually uh, that's actually in two two. So. Um, I think I think we've got enough of idea of what the uh, the jazz rhythms are. So it's swinging the quavers um, and syncopation and some use of sort of exotic time signatures of like five eight five four seven eight. So I hope that's um, I hope that's of help to anyone. Thanks for listening and bye for now.